Hi, this is Tyler Baker, the pastor of Valiant Baptist Church in Jacksonville, Florida. There's a lot of people that are confused about repentance and salvation, and particularly uh, the necessity of humility in order to be saved. Now, the reason why uh, a humble person or humility is what's required uh, to be saved is, is the fact that we're saved by the gospel. We are saved by putting all of our faith and all of our trust in Jesus Christ. And a proud person is not willing to put their faith and their trust in someone else. Uh, it takes a humble heart, it takes a humble person in order to uh, fully trust Jesus Christ. A proud person wants to think they can get there, there themselves, that they're good enough, uh, they will not admit fully and acknowledge uh, their sin to the fullest extent uh, and that it has condemned them and that they're not good enough to get to heaven. However, the Bible is very clear that we are saved by grace through faith, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. And uh, it's also equally as clear that the way in which we are to get access to God's grace is by humility. Uh, in the book of James and uh, uh, one of Peter's epistles, we're told that God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace to the humble. Who God gives grace to is the humble. And uh, if we're saved by grace through faith, that means that we must humble ourselves in order to receive that grace. And what grace is, is something that we don't deserve. Now, a proud person is not gonna be willing to receive grace because they believe that they can do it themselves. They believe that they're good enough to get to heaven and they will not acknowledge the full extent of their sin. However, a humble person is willing to receive God's mercy. He's willing to receive God's grace. Uh, and because of that, he is able to be saved. He will put his faith and trust in Jesus Christ. God bless you and have a good day.